In this segment, I'm going to continue using graphics mode to create embroidery for digitizer software. And specifically in this segment, we're going to take a look at how to use the eyedropper tool to match colors um, for use with vector as embroidery. So basically, the eyedropper tool, if I click on the little triangle, it flies open to show that there's two sort of sides to this tool, an eyedropper and a paint bucket. And they kind of work together. So it starts with the eyedropper. And basically, um, what I could do is maybe I'll just zoom in over top of this embroidery um, object. But before I do that, I think I should even make myself a vector. So I'll just draw a rectangle. Okay, so there's my rectangle. And now I'm going to turn on the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more closely over top of this area of embroidery. That's um, This is basically an, a vector that I previously created and converted it to embroidery. And so you can see I've got this little eyedropper, which is used for matching colors. And as I mouse over top of this um, visualizer for the embroidery, all the different shades of green that are involved in this graphic can be seen by just moving my mouse around. So if there was a color in here that I felt that I wanted to use somewhere else in my embroidery or in the vectors, what I can do is I can select that color by just simply clicking on it. So if I click over top of this light green square, it adds that color up to the top to my selected colors. And now the tool automatically switched to the paint bucket. And so if I came down over top of this vectorized rectangle that I created and click on it now, it'll fill it in with that new color. So pretty much that's how the tool works. You first of all choose your eyedropper. You come over here to the blue and you just scroll through the blue until you find a blue that you like. Click on it. It adds it to your little eyedropper paint palette. And then you can come down here and click on top of a vector to use that new color. And if you really find a color that you like and you want to keep it, you can actually click on this to add it to your palette. And then it would be there for, for use in other designs. So that's the eyedropper tool and how to use this eyedropper tool to match um, colors. And so now what I'm going to do is prepare to come back with a segment and we'll take a look at importing CorelDRAW files and start working with prepared um, Corel graphics and then converting those into embroidery.